Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. It's take five here. So, yeah, we're gonna be blasting some transgressor and their new EP, Beyond Oblivion. Today's video is brought to you by the Patreon account, and I will be there in a second because it's time for 45 RPMs of pure Japanese death metal mastery. With such a good B side as well. Now, Beyond Oblivion by Transgressor. Just look at that artwork. Now, rest in power to. Akitio Kayuchi, bass and backing vocals, to my knowledge, he passed away. But then we have Takashi Tanaka on drums and vocals, whose name might be familiar from Anatomia, as well as Transgressor, but we also have Satoshi Ashidia. Ashida on guitar and backing vocals, and Kimhai Komujia on guitar and backing vocals. Rest in power to Akitio. Again, I am sorry for your loss, but Transgressor have returned with a total banger of an EP with Beyond Oblivion. Just wow. Like, legit wow, especially the B-side, where you get two instrumentals and then things close off with Visions of Carcass. It's just like, I can't do it, I can't punch my knuckles, but you get it. Oh, yes, this rules. Like, Ripporama, and I've heard some people legitimately be like, uh, it's just, and no, Anatomia, no, they do their own thing, and that is, just so I get it correctly in the right order, dismal, slow, death metal. Transgressor plays some, like, super heavy, at times mid-paced, yet just killer, top-fucking-shelf Japanese death metal. Like, Transgressor's up there with Bastard when it comes to some of my favorite Japanese bands, period. I don't have any Transgressor... Uh, Bastard in my collection. And once Scapegoat gets reissued, I can finally get that monster in my collection. But thank you to everyone that suggested picking this up. And whoever packed my order at Nuclear War Now. I was honestly not expecting a colored LP here, so thank you. Because this is such a just awesome slab of death metal history, in my opinion, because I am a big Transgressor fan. Like, I would love to get their split with Impentago, but that's a lot of money. But this was on sale, $20. Worth every penny. Death fucking metal. And I'm just in the mood right now to listen to some Anatomia. And I'm going to throw that on. Because like I said, I've already done a few takes. But with, a bon with Beyond Oblivion, honestly. Death Heaven, Stuck in Limbo. Infiltration for nothing and an indivision of carcass. It's 
just a legit death metal attack. And it's just a fucking banger. And I don't know what else to honestly say. Because you can compare both bands, but they're totally different in execution. Like, even going back to uh, Dissected Humanity, where it's more like autopsy and they kind of haven't really, you know, dialed in the anatomia sound yet that's on, like... Uh, Oh my goodness, how am I going to draw a blank here? I'm going to have to cheat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. D decaying in obscurity. I have it on LP too, but... I had to look at the cassette. But I was surprised though, how old Cadaver was not on Corporal Torment. Like, I always thought that was weird, because that song rolls. And then there's also the split Anatomia did with, uh, Mausoleum, that was awesome, that I just didn't feel enough people talked about. Well, I would love to do a split of Anatomia, they're like one of those bands I just really would love to work with. For multiple reasons, but, like, I just think we would fit together very well. Because, like, this split, like, I just feel it's very underrated and just needs your attention. Head Split did it. I forget who, uh, I know it's got, like, multiple releases, but it's totally worth checking out. It's fucking badass. It's probably one of my favorite Anatomia splits, aside from the stuff they do with Linda Gang. But really, really just sickening, like, dismal death metal. <laughs> but when it comes to, like, what the crypt is doing with Scapegoat, I just heard from a very reliable source that it's getting reissued and... I was just very happy when I got that news because I've been looking for a copy for a long time. Every time it shows up on Head Split on cassette, it sells out instantly, like legitimately, instantaneously. I'll see that it's for sale and like people are there. They, they know what it is. They're not stupid, so they're all over it. So I get it, but getting it on vinyl through the crypt, like, I, I hope the pre-orders, like, cool, because like, we're still waiting on, like, the next Morpheus Descends pre-orders, which, I again, I don't mind waiting for, but sometimes it does get delayed, and it just takes a while, but it's worth it in the end, especially if you love that type of shit, like I do, but I'm gonna shut the fuck up, go check out transgressor on your own beyond oblivion all the links will be in the video description just grade a japanese death metal but don't go in expecting like coffins mortuary and darkness it's transgressor doing what transgressor do best and that's play fucking death metal thanks for watching as always fucking rule thank you again to the patreon for making today's video possible peace mm.